All right, so we're making artwork like Marc Chagall. And last week, what we did was we have this worksheet here and we wrote a memory. So the memory I wrote was one summer day, the kids and I went to the zoo. We saw the lions and elephants and we had fun. When it got too hot, we left. Then I went through and I circled all the nouns. Remember, a noun is a person, place, or thing. So the kids and I went to the zoo. We saw the lions and the elephants. Those are all nouns. Now you might have more than five nouns, but you need to have at least three. So, I have three nouns here. I have the kids, so I drew the kids. The zoo, so I drew the zoo entrance, and an elephant. And those are the three things that I am going to draw on my final piece of paper. Now remember, Mark Chagall was when he drew Happy memories, and ours should be happy memories. The people and things were floating because he showed that when things were floating, it was because he was happy. So, first, I'm going to draw the kids. Now, remember, we don't draw stick people. We can start with stick people, then we have to make them into real people. All right, so remember that when you're drawing these things you want to draw them nice and big so that they're taking up a lot of space so see how big my people are when I draw this and of course I draw uh, my stick figure and then I add clothes and muscles so that it's not a stick figure and then erase the stick figure part and then you've got a regular person so that's one way to draw people is to start with the stick figure then draw in the clothes just by going around it and then the muscles and then erase the stick figure in between and that's just a great way to draw people so then once you're done drawing one of your objects one of your nouns turn your page you want to make sure you turn your page and then draw your next thing so that that way it looks like uh, the objects are floating the people are floating uh, just like Marc Chagall you know he would say that when he was happy he felt like he was floating and that's why he had a lot of floating um, people in his artwork so I'm on to my next object, so I turn my page and I draw it in another direction. That way you can't really tell which way is up and which way is down. So by the end of this, you're not going to be able to tell which is up and which is down. Alright, the next step is to trace all of your pencil lines in Sharpie marker. So you want to use a Sharpie because it's permanent and you want to trace everything and this helps define all of your drawings so that your drawings don't get lost in the abstraction later on. So finish tracing all of that. Once you're totally done tracing, you're going to get a drawing placemat. See how I'm drawing on this piece of fabric, my paper's on the piece of fabric? And then you're going to draw really hard with crayons. And the reason you use the fabric is so that you don't end up with the texture of the tables. Uh, and you fully color in because you want to make sure that the wax of the crown fully colors in because we're going to be using a wax resist because we're going to be using watercolors in the next step. Now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to use watercolors and we're going to make an abstract background. Just some bright, beautiful colors. And we're going to go around our figures. And because it's crown, if it does get on your figure a little bit, you can take a tissue and you can wipe it up. Uh, but don't try to paint right over it because you could just paint over your figures. And then once you're all finished painting, you will have a beautiful surrealist artwork inspired by the art of Marc Chagall. Thank you.